Next up, who is government protecting now? Five Airlines face price gouging investigation. What? Says question mark rock man. Well, the question is, is, did the airlines do disaster profiteering? Disaster profiteering. Ooh, what an evil word. So, you know, May 12th, we had the Philadelphia derailment. It disrupted train service in the Northeast character corridor between Philadelphia and New York, but it actually affected the entire area over there where a lot of the U.S. population lives. What happened that week? Well, you had average fares on airlines going up 12%. And the week after, when the derailment's cleared, we have average fares decreasing tremendously, 18% to 361. That looks like, to some investigators, like there was price gouging going on during the week of the derailment by the airline. So what do you do if there's price gouging? The government said, let's investigate. Let's investigate them for price gouging. And who did they call in? They called in American Airlines, United Air Continental Airlines, Delta Airlines, Southwest, and JetBlue. Got five companies being pulled up by the U.S. Department of Transportation for price gouging. Did they? Ah, uh, let's take a look. What they released as facts is that Delta actually lowered its highest fare by 50% in the area. And America added capacity and did not change its fare structure. So what gives? The airline's saying we lowered our fares. We actually didn't do anything. But the government looks at it and says, hey, but average fares went up. How did these two things happen at the same time? Huh. Huh, says question mark rock man. Somebody must be lying. But maybe not. See, Toltec, Mesoamerican, Wiglaf dude understands what revenue management looks like. And when you're looking at revenue management, or an airline, you call it yield management, what we're doing is shifting the number of seats held available at different fares. So you can have the exact same fare structure, have the exact same places, but decrease the number of seats available at the low fare, increase the number of seats available at a high fare, and what? The average fare goes up, even though the fare structure didn't change. That's something that could have been happening there. So did they price gouge? Hmm, wait a minute, wait a minute. First of all, the best of my knowledge, uh, price gouging on interstate airfares is not illegal. So I'm asking, what are they investigating? They didn't do anything wrong to the best of my knowledge. And people did not have to fly immediately following a train derailment. They could have waited. But if they didn't want to wait, the airlines were there to actually take care of their needs and they would provide a service at a profit. Is that not the nature of a business to serve customers profitably? Is that not their purpose? It is their purpose. So what are they investigating, I'm asking? Got me, but I, maybe, maybe there's something else going on I don't know about.